our GMA cover story. I'm going to talk to Jen. There's a new study looking at why breast cancer patients are more likely to see their cancer spread after surgery and why it might have to do with the healing process. And Dr. Jen, Okay, come on, what is going on here? Okay, so first, the big qualifier here. We have to remember that surgical resection or removing a cancerous tumor is still safe and effective, and most okay. people don't relapse. But there is a well-known fact in, in breast cancer and prostate cancer that after surgery, the, re the chance of relapse or recurrence tends to be close to that time of surgery, 6 to 12 months, and we didn't really understand why, and that's what this study was looking at. And only those types of cancer? Uh, well, no. I mean, in, in other types of cancer as, as well, well but, but particularly in those types. So oncologists have been looking at this for some time. They really didn't understand what was Got going it. on. Because there has been some talk about that. Exactly. And there's something as common as a painkiller. Right, so, so let me tell you about this new study. First, we have to qualify. It was okay. done in rodents, okay? And as we've said before, mice and people are not exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. But it really want, tried to answer why does this happen, and it honed down on this inflammation. So surgical wound healing, when you make an incision in the skin and your body heals that incision, there's a thought that that, that inflammation actually attracts cancer cells. So what blocks that inflammation? The common class of medication known as NSAID, so we're talking about ibuprofen or a prescription drug like Toradol. So should you just always make sure that you have that after surgery? A absolutely not. And Robin, uh -oh. I spoke to several cancer specialists here in New York City last night who said, cautious, you know, this is not ready for prime time, um, and they think it's not going to be that impactful. But when you talk about just taking this class of medication, we use this post-op all the time. Mm -hmm. It cuts down pain. You don't have to give opioids. Mm -hmm. But it can upset your stomach, and it can affect the kidneys. And in some cases, it can cause more bleeding, although that hasn't been my surgical experience. Oh, good to hear yeah. that. But, you know, people are waking up, and they're hearing this, and they're like, oh, come on, right. especially if they have a surgery schedule. A hundred percent. And those women, in t particular for breast cancer, need to be reassured that having surgery, whether it's lumpectomy or mastectomy, mm -hmm. is not going to increase their risk. But oncologists are looking at this one area, and there are a lot of other factors that go into your risk of relapse, not just this, but inflammation, wound healing. I like it because it's an example of something that's positive, wound healing, that could also potentially have a damage. I see what you got. All okay. right, Jen, thanks so you much. Bet. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.